Hi, it's Candy. Thanks so much for tuning in and welcome. I'm, I'm excited to have you join us today. We're going to do on today's video um, a look at my first week in August. In the last video, I kind of showed you how I transitioned from one month to another. And today I want to show you that first week in the first month of August to kind of show you how I put that together. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and I'm going to actually tell you, kind of share my heart a little bit about why I plan, why it's so important to me to plan. And then I'm going to share with you about what I've got coming up and um, what we're going to be going over in our YouTube videos for the next several times. And then I'm going to ask you to give me a little bit of feedback too. So I want to show you what I have done for this week previously and then what I've got what I've got going on for the rest of the week. I'm going to show you how the week kind of falls together for me. Now, I don't really mean to say how it falls together, but how I put it together, if you will. So the first thing that we showed you last time was putting the week together, putting the month together, and that starts out with our month at a glance. I do continue to use the month at a glance as I build my days and as I build my weeks and as I build the month. So you'll probably notice this time that this first week is busier and filled in more and it will continue to do that as I build the month of August. So the first thing I do is I will go into my month at a glance and I will put it into here because this is where I'm going to look first for something. But immediately, as soon as something is logged into here, like my next appointment with my stylist, <laughs> I talk about that a lot, right? But as soon as I had that done yesterday, we made another appointment and I go immediately and plug her into my month at a glance. And then from there, I go to my daily appointments and I put it on that day's page also. So, I build my month and then I build my days, okay? So, there she is on, nope, there she is on this day. So, I know this is going to be a little bit longer of a day, so I kind of, I kind of log off that amount of time that I know I'm going to do. So, literally, you know, when we started this channel, we, we said that we were going to work pretty on purpose and powerful and I think the on purpose of that is very important so this becomes very important to me as I work on purpose for the week and the day and then here is September so I will build September with appointments the very same way now here is so here is this week of course Monday was the last day of July here is Tuesday. If you watch the last video, you will know that I am personally just getting back to on purpose planning. So Tuesday was a lot of getting it back together. And I'm certainly not going to tell you that right now I got it together. But I am working on getting it back together. And I feel a lighter weight already. Um, when I've got my plan down, or when I know I'm getting my plan down, it lifts a weight off of me, guys, because if I don't have it down here, I know that it's running around in my head, or at least I hope it's running around in my head. When I have moved it from inside that jumbled mess in my head, I've got it down here, and I don't have to worry about how good is my recall going to be or how good my recall is going to be. Can I recall it? Will I remember it? Will I make it? I just had lunch today with a friend. We were supposed to have lunch uh, a couple weeks ago and I absolutely totally forgot it. And I don't absolutely totally forget anything. It's just that my state of mind has been a little weird lately. And I forgot my lunch appointment with her. And that's like to me almost unforgivable. But I did it. So I don't I don't want to do that. 
I haven't been working out of my planner and if you guys have been with me for a long time at all you know that drives me crazy and rightly so huh because I forgot a lunch appointment okay so we're gonna flip over here to Wednesday this is yesterday I'm getting it a little more back together you can see I'm not going to explain any of this to you I'll tell you why in just a little bit but you can see that I'm getting back to getting my plan on paper here's Wednesday I use this half I like the day on two pages that's my preference if you have a preference feel free to trust yourself and know you like that preference and to stay with that if you don't and you're just kind of mm, back and forth um, feel free to examine and look at videos to see what kind of a preference you might like there's day on a page there's week on a page there's week on two pages there's day on two pages um, different people like different things We'll build on that as we go along also, okay? If you're new to the planning world, do not think that you have to get this figured out in a week's worth of YouTube videos or even a month worth of YouTube videos. Give yourself time to figure it out. Um, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to jump in this and decide immediately what you want to do. And also, if you're new to the planning world, I need to say welcome. Um, it's a fun, wonderful place to be and to work from and to learn a lot from. This is today's day on two pages. So you can see again that I am getting back into my planning. Now, another thing I want to mention real quickly is in my case, I'm gonna and I'm gonna pretty much say in everybody's case, you will have a certain amount of things that you that you will plug into your planner um, probably on on a scheduled type situation like every every day a certain appointment goes on to your calendar the same time every day of every week you'll have appointments that are kind of non-negotiable you will have things that you will want to put on there just as as routine very much but other things that you will find you will build on like like next week does not have a lot going on for me yet however I'll build on it like I'll make new appointments I will have new things come up I will have different things that I will be able to put into different slots. Many times I like to go do my running around on the same day. I get up, I put makeup on, and I go out and do stuff. Errands take a tremendous amount of time, and I don't like to go do them every single day. I would rather get up, go do all of my errands on the same day, and because I'm pretty much non-productive in the studio and in the office, when I have to go do errands so let me go get all the errands out of the way and the days I stay here I can get a whole lot more done so that's that's one of the ways I've learned that I can do my scheduling so I build the days and I build things according to that so here's what Thursday look like here's where we are today um Here's where we are tomorrow. Now, this just came up. I will be out of town tomorrow. I didn't intend for that to happen. Didn't necessarily want for that to happen. Didn't matter. It happened anyway. So, I'm going to be out of town tomorrow. Here's what that looked like. Um, while I'm out of town, I have a list of things to do. When I am out of town and have a list of things to do, I love for these to be my to-do list. This is an 8.5 by 5 lined index card I don't know why I started it on this because again I have to get back in the habit of doing some things so it started on that it's going to be transferred to this this evening I like to stick these in my pockets um, no in my bag in my tote bag and I like to work from these when I'm out of town um, when I'm in town I keep my list going on my phone when I'm out of town I just prefer to have a hard copy in my hands I usually sit in the car and add to take away or combine my shopping lists on our drive we have to drive a long way to get anywhere so that's 
how I keep my tracking list whenever we are going out of town. Now, so what I do is I have a page marker for the day that I am on that moves around. I always keep a page marker for the first day of the next of the week. So there has been a page marker here for Monday the August, Monday August the 7th. This has been there every single day of every day this week because what I find is we'll, I, I build the next week as I'm going through this week. It happens a lot, so it's great for me to just have this page marker right here for the entire next week. I'm probably trying to explain to you a little more than I should right now. I was just, I wanted to show you how this week came together. The other thing that I have noticed while I was doing this week, while I'm in this week, is I have a whole lot of things that I want to do at the house, and I'm going to get those all done on Saturday. Here is that list. Now, the other thing that I've done is I have moved this this with me, and it's one of those Franklin Covey, it's a progressive, ta progressive task list. It, they come just like these. You can flip them in and out, and I do. I've moved it with me everywhere because I've, I've been building this too. Um, and I could tell you a lot more about that, but I will later. So I have a lot of things that I want to get done here at the house, and I'm going to work on those on Saturday. So that's there. So that's my, that is how I have built this week. Now, I, I just want to give you something else to think about, and that is professionals build their weeks, guys. Doctors build their weeks. Attorneys build their weeks. Um, stylists build their weeks. Everybody has appointments and has things that come up or that get canceled or that have to be rescheduled. Um, my stylist was telling me that I had an appointment last Wednesday, actually, um, and I had to call her and cancel, which I absolutely never do. I mean, that's just an appointment that I hardly ever miss, but I had a terrible migraine last Wednesday, and I because I never miss appointments, I waited till the hour before thinking I never miss appointments. I wasn't going to miss my appointment, but I just could not get there. And she was telling me yesterday that that last week was crazy, that she had people just cancel. They couldn't come. They got sick. All of those things. So people, people's date book, their planners, their schedules change all the time. So you do build your planner. You reschedule, other people reschedule. This little baby isn't written in stone. Um, that's one of the reasons that I like to work in, a pen, in pencil a lot, but I have had comments throughout the time of doing this that, you know, I, I like to do my planner, but it never works. So I, I mean, just, you know, just things like that. I know. It happens to me too, but the thing about your planner is you are being proactive as opposed to without a planner, I feel like I'm being reactive. Honest to goodness, if I don't have things in a planner, I could still have as much to do, but it's like, oh my gosh, where do I start? What do I do? I don't even know what needs to be done. That's because it's all scrambled up in my brain, and I really don't know what to do. Even though there's every bit as much to be done, I don't know what to do, or where to get started, or where to turn around. So, that's what I feel like when I don't have my plan down in my book. So, for me, instead of it being... Instead of me feeling like I'm tied to my planner, I feel like I'm actually freer because I know what needs to be done. I know what needs to be prioritized. I know what's, what's more important. And no, we're not going to talk about those right now, but that's part of the system and that's part of 
why it can be so beneficial to plan. So that's um, that's just that is what I have really come back to since I have been able to come back to planning. Um, it makes me feel very proactive. And the, the word, I, I have really, I mean, my heart is back to, oh my goodness, this feels so good. If you don't take control, or if you don't attempt to take control, you, I feel like I'm at the mercy of everybody else, and what everybody else needs me to do for them. Excuse me, water break. I just visited with a very, very, very precious person that's been a friend for a long, long time. And, you know, she's one of those people that ev she's always tried to do everything she can for every people, for every people, for everybody. And don't, don't we need those kind of people? But she's on overwhelm right now um, because she is that kind of person. And you know what? You can't always do that. You have to. At some point, you have to kind of stop and take care of yourself. And to do that, you kind of need to know what's what, where's when, how, in what order it needs to be done, and those kind of things. So if you don't take control or attempt to, somebody else will kind of take control of your time and what's going on. So in that case... Planning becomes a verb. Now, planning is a noun, too, and we're going to talk about that, and that's lots of fun. You know, that's just little fun things to throw in there, but first comes the planning and knowing how to do it. So, what's coming up, then, is, oh my goodness, I'm going to, I'm going to run out of time again. We are going, I think it's good, I want to go back to the basics, and for our newcomers, teach the basics, and for us, those of us that aren't newcomers, remember the basics and get back to the basics and know the basics so I kind of want to go back to like a basic training type thing is there a is there a funner word for basic trainer basic training or you know get back to the ABCs or fundamentals or that is my idea of where to move forward is I guess to kind of go backwards and to go back to the the basics of well all the bells and whistles are going off aren't they um, to go back to the basic training. So that's my idea of of where to go now. So if you like that idea, would you please comment where it gives you the opportunity to do that and let me know if you think that would be great to just revisit some of those things or if you have other ideas. And then the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to do a sister video. So many of you have asked about um, would I do a video with my sister. I will tell you, I think she would do it. She'll be kicking and screaming the whole way, but I think she would do it anyway. But I would like to have questions because she'll say, what are, what are we going to do? What are they going to ask us? What, what am I going to have to do? So I think if, you know, she knew what kind of a video, and I don't even, I mean, I wouldn't even know what to tell her. So comment with some kind of questions that you would, um, I mean, what, what would you want us to do on a sister video? And then I could kind of get going in a direction and give her something, you know, give her something more solid. So um, I hope that gave you a good look at how I put a week together, you know, how it starts and how I put it together. It'll give you a good look at where I kind of think it would be good to, you know, move forward on, on our videos. And then it gives you some options to comment, give me a couple ideas of, you know, what, what we could call basic training, if you even like that, where to kind of, where to kind of move forward, and then um, let me know if we do a sister video, what you would want us to touch on on that.